I'm really itching to do a pregnancy test. We're kind of trying to gender sway just a little bit. <laughs> Want to do a pregnancy test just to see. So come with me. Let's get it done. I really want to look. I'm going to go ahead and look, even though it's not been five minutes. <laughs> hey guys. So. I'm really itching to do a pregnancy test. Even though I had my period, my last period was March 3rd. And I just wanna confirm here. Okay, my last period is March 5th. And because we're kind of trying to gender sway just a little bit, I'm happy with both male or female. I know this sounds cliche, but what matters is that they're healthy. But I do want to try those gender swaying techniques and actually just try one, which is the belief that boy sperm only lives three days and girl sperm lives seven days. So you have to time it in that perfect timing seven days before ovulation but not too close to three days before ovulation so you're in between that little gap between seven days and three days and that's when you actually try to conceive and that's what we did so my last period was march 5th i know this is a long shot and it's actually more than seven days because right now we're okay with having a baby now and we're also okay with not having a baby right now so we tried to conceive three days after my period which I ovulate around 11 days <laughs> so if you do the calculations it's just a little bit we tried to conceive eight days out from when I usually ovulate so it's a really hit or miss because technically they say you know sperm is not gonna live longer than seven days so it's a hit or miss at this point we could have gone closer to the seven day or six day or even five day mark before ovulation but I kind of just wanted to see if it's gonna happen today uh, this month or not so that is the only time we tried this month and right now it is March 25th. March 25th would be, it is still, gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is still eight days before when I should expect my next period, but I am so excited and I kind of really, really, really want to do a pregnancy test just to see. So come with me let's get it done so i'm gonna be extra quiet because i don't want my husband he works on the first floor to hear because i want to surprise him so let's go i've always wanted to try those clear blue pregnancy tests the ones that literally just come out and say pregnant or not pregnant but I've always used the first response because first response is a lot more sensitive to your HCG levels. It is actually one of the only tests that can detect really low levels of HCG, so it can tell you it is truly a first responder. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that one. And it says six days sooner. I'm right now, I think I'm eight days sooner, so let's see. Let's see how it goes. I do only have Two. So I'm just gonna use one today and then wait a lot closer to do the second one. These things are expensive. The moment of truth. I will be right back. I'm going to pee on it and bring it right out. I'm not gonna even look, okay? I haven't looked, but we have to wait five minutes, okay? I'm gonna show you, but I'm not gonna look. You ready? All right. You guys know before me, <laughs> or we're just gonna wait five minutes. I just covered it up. Let me wash my hands. I really wanna look. I'm gonna go ahead and look, even though it's not been five minutes, but I'll let you get first dibs. All right, I see nothing. Oh, 
I don't even see a faint line, but it is too early. So what a waste of seven bucks, right? <sighs> Guess we'll do this again closer, maybe in five days. <laughs> I'll see you then. Actually guys, the husband is on a phone call and I want to freak him out. <laughs> I want him to think we're pregnant. So I'm going to give him this and get him to open it, <laughs> which is kind of mean but funny because you know we knew it would probably not work that trying to conceive so early in the cycle but let's go ahead and do that Are you on mute? There's a second line. No, don't lie. There's a second line. There's a second line. There's You're a second, such a liar. There's a second line. <laughs> Are you on mute? Yes. Come here. Tell me why. Is that an old one? What? Is that an old one? No, I just took it. I don't believe you. Why would it? Where would I save an old one? I don't know, cause you're weird like that. No. Here's another one. So why not? Mommy shark has work to do. What are you talking about? <sighs> we already have two. We're good for a little while. We have some trips. Oh yeah, he's worried about his camping trip and the no. Vegas trip and... Sorry, okay stop. Okay stop. Why? Okay stop. Why? Stop. <laughs> Tell the world the truth. <laughs> We've been in hell for four years and I want out. <laughs> before I go back in for another four. Another four? Oh my gosh, another one. And he is lying. They're a very big blessing. Yes, they are. Okay guys. It is, uh, what's the date today? Okay, it's April 19th now. <laughs> so it's been a few weeks and I actually got my period. So no, I'm not pregnant, which I'm not surprised. Trying to conceive so early in the cycle was not gonna happen like at three days <laughs> post cycle. So anyway, there's a lot going on and right now where we are in life lots of things got planned in the next few months so we're probably gonna push pause on this and pick up sometime soon uh, i do plan on vlogging the whole thing when it actually does happen so if you're interested in knowing what to expect from week zero to week 40 on a pregnancy journey definitely hit that subscribe button and stay tuned oh and make sure to hit the notification bell or you won't know when i post my next video thank you guys you are awesome and remember to be a shark <laughs>